what this video is for is to show you how to set up your student Desmos account. Now the student Desmos account that we're going to explore on how to set up today is extremely important as we continue throughout Integrated Math 1 throughout the school year. We're going to be using it, using it for in-class activities, homework, and also tests. So it's extremely important to get this done and I can't stress enough how beneficial it will be to have your own account if you do not have an account set up it will never save your work so you would always have to restart everything that you have to do which is not ideal whatsoever so we're going to go over how to set up the account that way we don't have to worry about that throughout the school year so where we're going to go is desmos.com that's d-e-s mos.com and then we'll hit enter and it may take a few seconds to load and once you get there you will notice that it is full of mathematical thoughts ideas and things we got graphing we got things for teachers we got math tools resources all kinds of things but what we want to focus on today is how to sign up how to create our account so if you notice at the top right of the page there is a blue sign up button we're gonna click that and you'll notice that there are two options in order to sign up you got external account or you have email address we are going to want to click the email address option so you'll click on email address and you're gonna see the things that we need to fill in in order to create account so where it says email you're gonna click that area and you are gonna put your student email it doesn't need to be a personal email it needs to be your student email address that the school that the county has provided for you and then where it says name or nickname you must put your first and last name under that selection the reason why I stress that is that I need to or I need it to be matched perfectly to how your name is shown in Skyward in the grade book so make sure you put your first and last name where it asks for your name and then password I highly recommend that you put your password as the same password that you use for school so if you have to use a password to log on to this your laptop at school or computer at school I recommend using that same password that way you're not having to remember that password uh, throughout the school year you know that you can use it for anything uh, to get on and you can also use it for Desmos so I recommend doing that and also maybe to be extra safe I would write down your email address that you put at the top and the password that you put that way you can reference it later if in case you forget it and then once you have your email your name first and last and your password you're gonna click these two check boxes just to agree to terms and conditions and then whenever you have all of this filled out that create account button is going to be highlighted it's going to be blue that way you can click it and once you click that create account you have successfully joined the desmos community so that's our goal today make sure you get that done if you have any questions about that reach out to me email me and we will make sure that you get that completed